Over the last three years, the National Social Security Fund has earned a total of 80.6 billion from its investments in MTN Uganda, following payments of 39.8 billion dividends from 31st December 2023. The board members and management convened at the Workers' House for a media press briefing to disclose the progressive performance of NSSF investments in MTN. For, us, for the year ending June 2024, we have earned 39.8 billion shillings as dividends from MTN, arising out of the investments that I have already made. This payment is the largest the fund has earned from a listed company in the whole of the East Africa region. That means that over the last three years, since we invested, we have basically earned close to 81 billion shillings as dividends from MTN and earning it on behalf <coughs> of Ugandans. Patrick Ayota, the managing director NSSF, assured Savers that the investment approaches taken by NSSF with stocks in MTN Inclusive have been fully funded by the assets of the funds to benefit Ugandans. He also confirmed NSSF's buying of additional shares in MTN Uganda. The company will continue to offer long-term benefits for NSSF members and the country. And from a social perspective, MTN Uganda is central to achieving the UN's SDG goals of Uganda by driving connectivity and financial inclusion through mobile money. Slivia Mulinje, the CEO of MTN Uganda, expressed her gratitude to NSSF, being its largest institutional shareholder, and the citizens in Uganda that continue to support and trust the teleco. NSSF is the largest indigenous shareholder in MTN Uganda with 11.7% shareholding. As I've previously called out, they are our largest institutional uh, shareholder and we at MTN Uganda are really greatly privileged to serve the many Ugandans uh, who have a stake in the fund. NSSF represents you, we probably can't reach all the 20, 21,000 of you, but in, by your participation uh, in NSSF and NSSF investment uh, in MTN, you get a chance to be.